Uh, greetings again, YouTube. Um, it's been a little while. I know my updates are infrequent. I actually had a had a clip put together to um, to put up on here, and then just ended up not having a lot of time. Um, and I feel like this is the first break that I've had in a while. Um, as a lot of you know, or as I've talked about at least, I don't know how many actually know. I'm currently, uh, I finished my undergraduate degree and I'm currently enrolled uh, at the same school, but doing doing some classes to prepare for uh, for, a, for a master's degree. So this year is uh, kind of a kind of a slog. It's uh, it's it's both Latin and Greek, and I have a third course I'm taking. Um, but the languages alone are quite heavy, and and uh, I had a, a Latin Latin midterm today that I had had uh, had higher hopes for, but uh, sadly it didn't go too well. Uh, I don't think anyway. I mean we'll. I suppose the proof is in the pudding, as they say, so we'll see when the marks come back. But, uh, yeah, it's a funny thing with me and Tess. I always find that I'm, uh, I can have so much cemented in my head before I go into it, and uh, no matter how well I know it or think I know it, once I get in there, it just kind of... Uh, kind of flies away, leaves me, or I don't, uh, I mean, I don't feel anxious, that's, that's one of the things that frustrates me the most, is, uh, I don't, I don't feel anxious, I go in there feeling quite calm, but it's like I really am anxious, and, uh, I can't recall things, I bring them to mind, I can't, basically just useless. Um, which is a bad feeling, uh, especially when you're bound for graduate work, where it's going to be a going to be a big deal. But um, but it's onward and upward, I hope. And uh, yeah, it'll just have to be a bit more a bit more work put in for next time for the the exam in December. But uh, it's the first time I've had had in a few weeks to sit down with a pipe. I have the house to myself at present. In one way. One roommate's away with work, the other's at, uh, at a class he's running, a, he's a TA, so. And I guess to kind of put me in the mood for uh, bemoaning my situation, I have a, one of his records, it's uh, Lamentations for Four Voices by Thomas Tallis on the, uh, on the record player, so just kind of a calm afternoon. Um, gray and overcast in Halifax, and uh, but the trees, we have a lot of trees outside of our house, which is coming together, but a lot of trees, and it's starting to turn, and the roads are covered with leaves, red and orange, and, you know, yellow, uh, yellow leaves, so it's quite lovely, and it's just got that nice fall crisp, crisp, crispness in the air. Sometimes I can do it. Um, one thing that's kind of neat, I will I will say, is that tomorrow, uh, Saturday, the second last day in October, I'll be spending the um, whole day at a an Orthodox Hermitage in in the province here, not too far from from Lunenburg. Uh, there's a an Orthodox Hermitage called the Hermitage of the Annunciation, and there's two monks that live there, um, Brotherhood of the Oh, the name escapes me now, but uh, it's kind of a retreat we're doing through the college chapel, and we're going to to just kind of have a have a have a quiet day, as as they call. Them. Um, so the day will be had in silence. Uh, you know, the monks will do a few talks. We'll take part in their in their matins and their um, midday prayer, and if you go early enough in their morning prayer, uh, the place is about two hours away. So some will be getting there early enough, some won't. But I'm just kind of hoping after today it will be, uh, um, yeah, kind of a nice rest. 
just to have the day. I don't, uh, I don't plan on bringing much work to do beyond maybe a book. I'm trying to get through Boethius's Consolation of Philosophy. So if I could bring that and read it, um, they have over 100 acres of land to wander on. So it'll be, it'll be lovely. Um, I'll post the link actually to the Hermitage in the, uh, in the comment or the uh, description box. They, they do, um, they have a resident uh, iconographer there, so they, they make and sell icons, which is quite lovely. This is um, one you've seen before, but one that I had been missing since about August. Uh, my favorite pipe. It's a Brigham, I don't know what you call it, uh, but it's rusticated, it has a nice heavy weight to it. Um, and by far my favorite. I also bought it with some of my uh, granduncle's Christmas money that he gave me last Christmas. He was a pipe smoker all his life and a, a pretty important, he is a pretty important person in my life. So um, I thought I'd kind of do him the honor of, of buying this and he's seen it and he, he approves. And it's loaded with uh, um, Strathspray by uh, Cornell and Deal. It's not my tin, it's the upstairs neighbors, so he doesn't know. But uh seems like there's a lot of good things on, on the move here on YouTube. Uh I know uh, Gustavo or Gustavo, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, at uh, Requiem Requiem Pipes uh put up the the thought that maybe uh, there could be almost like a YouTube pipe presenter Secret Santa done, which I think would be quite nice. I know I have well uh, one jar of kind of two ounce package of, of tobacco that I'd be willing to donate to that uh, a Billy Bud a jar I should say that I'd love to send along and trade for something else from someone. Um, so check that out if 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 anyone hasn't. Um, I think it's Requiem Pipes is is the channel name, um, and he talks about that in a recent video. But I think that's a very good idea. And uh, yeah, and it's good to see there's another uh, another Nova Scotian. I've been kind of watching the videos of Backcountry Pipes uh, on YouTube. As far as I know, he's the only other one, uh, perhaps the only other Nova Scotian YouTuber that I've ever seen. So it's good to see that we're we're being represented to some degree out here because <laughs> we're kind of kind of on the fringes, and uh, it doesn't seem like a lot of people have have uh, have have vlogged a whole lot. But anyway, um, that's about it for me. Thanks for listening. Uh, hopefully the next test will go better. And again, check out uh, The Hermitage of the Annunciation and uh, Requiem Pipes for the, for the uh, Secret Santa. And hopefully people can trade around some addresses and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can, what we can do.